welcome back to the next step of PayPal subscription integration. If you have gotten to this stage, that means you are very, very serious and it motivates me to make more videos. All right, in this part, we are going to check if a user is active in order to access the video streaming service, the premium video streaming service. Okay, and also we are going to learn how to cancel our subscription. So make sure you stick with me to the end of this video. All right, for the, the last time, we I didn't have uh, this subset.php file. That's why we have this error not found, but now I've created it. So what we're going to do, we are going to do some checks to be sure that the user that, that is trying to access this page that have the services that we are rendering to our customers is has an active subscription okay so to do that we are going to head over to our code editor all right so this is our sources page so this is where we have the video so this is the video this is one of my youtube video tutorials So if we head back here and let's refresh it. All right, as you can see, um, anybody that has access to this URL can get to this page. So we're going to do some checks in our database to be sure that the user that is trying to access this page has an active subscription. Okay. All right. So to do that, we're going to write some code here. Then we'll open our PHP tags. First thing, we're going to include our database connection. Our database is in the folder database. Then this is the connection. The modifier is mydb.php. So now remember, um, the way I access all these pages is using my email. Okay, this can be done properly if you have a login system, just like I mentioned in the previous videos, where you can use the session variable of every user to access um, customer table to know they are, if they are active or not. For example. Let's say you have an email variable, okay, and you are using session to log in. Like you have uh, the name of the session, like session email. And remember, if you are dealing with session, you always start your session. So you will start your session, let's say the session, this is the variable. So whenever you are trying to fetch any data, because what we are trying to fetch here is this status to check if it is active for this user. But as we don't have a login uh, system for this tutorial, which we're supposed to have if this should be a reproduction code. That's why I normally use the string variable for my email address. Okay. So I hope you understand what I mean. We don't need this. So now as we have that email, I'm going to fetch the status that's in the database to check if the status variable or the status D the index name status if it is active or if it is cancelled or even suspended because these are the major three categories for subscription status in paper so i'm going to define a variable call it sql and my database connection plus at con dollar sign con okay that is it using a query function 
Okay, select status from what is our the table name customer underscore details all right from customer underscore details using where clause where where is our email okay this is the name session underscore email where session underscore email is equal to our email variable okay then limit limit it to one so it doesn't continue to run because if we have a lot of subscribers in the database it will take a long time for this to fetch so we're limiting it to one because so it will be faster for every user then now the bug using my sqli underscore error function and pass our database connection if there should be any error to right now using if statement if if um if the xql let me just check number of rows if the number underscore rows is not equal to zero that means if there's a value okay if it fetched something if we saw uh data from the database if it's not equal to zero then using while loop now while while um okay rows variable then fetch fetch underscore a sock all right so define a variable call it status using the rows then index name of what is the status in this name is status so this is it status so this is going to get the status all right um now we're going to use an if statement if if the status variable that we just fetch from the double if it's not let's say if if it is not equal to active because what we have here is active okay so if it is not equal to active just redirect the user let's say error page error.php i don't have that file yet something like that error.php or any other page that will show the user that maybe you're not allowed to access that page because some people might try to get this url open a browser to access this page so this is more like a security check all right so then exit or die whichever one die function okay that's just about it another way to even check this you can still use this uh subscription 
okay like we did in the previous and check if the SAS tools that we fetch from PayPal REST API if it is not active we can check that from PayPal API but the check that we did here we just checked it from our database it's still the same thing whichever way you want it right just like i mentioned earlier again the status can be suspended the status can be cancelled the status also can be active yes so whichever one it is you'll know what to do all right so i'm going to save this and go to our browser now and refresh will still be here because we'll have the status so what and what if that is let's say if it is cancelled or if there's nothing there and the user try to access that page the success page okay this there should be an error somewhere okay there should be an error somewhere i will do something i'm going to add more checks to this okay if but before then i'm going to just define a variable call it url status check what we have there because from here when we are directed to success page we passed this status variable so we're going to check for that find a variable call it url status using get global variable if the status that's the name okay i've gotten that let's now check if it is empty you know the first condition we checked if the value we got from a database if it is active if it's not active we'll go to the s error page so we're checking if this is empty okay so Okay, use empty function if empty pass the variable url status then just copy this and paste so if it's empty will take it to take us to this page for example let's try and access that and See, it has taken us back to error.php page. So that is just it. But if if we have the Sussex page with status active to bring us to to show us the video. That's if the email is equal. Let's assume we have a different email, let's say smith smith 204 okay let's see what will happen we have changed the email remember let's as if if another user logged in with a different session email with this string let's try and assess that see it will take us to error page because that user doesn't have an active subscription so this is how to check our status all right so next thing up we are now going to see how we can cancel our subscription